Oh my god, I'm so scared. She just said she loves me. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. What? What's wrong with Marina, that? I'm so scared right now. She just said she loves me. Lenny? Yeah. We're talking about Mickey's not so scary party, not oh. things that scare you. We'll talk about it in this episode of Next Up Main Street. of Next Stop Main Street. I'm Marlena. I'm Angela. And I'm Lenny. So, we've been gone for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> not, not too long. <laughs> no. But let's quickly say what's been going on in our lives and uh, then we can get started with the actual show. So yeah. for me, I've been sick. I've been out of commission. The last episode you guys filmed, I was not here for that, those reasons, but I feel much better and I'm back. Um... I started my freshman year of college just about a month, uh, two months ago, a month and a half ago, give or take, um, and I'm loving it, uh, but I'm back to film some more episodes. Just uh, work, 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 work. Uh, me and Angela were in Disney in August. She'll upload those videos at some point. Yes. She's been busy with school, so she hasn't <laughs> yeah. done it yet, yeah. but um, that's about it. Excited to be yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, great. Cool. Melinda, take us away. All right, so this whole episode is about the best party in my opinion in everyone's no well, no like i actually christmas. like the christmas but in my opinion the best party at walt disney world at magic kingdom it is mickey's not so scary halloween party <laughs> <laughs> now i've been multiple times um and you've each been one time one, one time. time now angela's actually going this year again i'm going back and i'm going to be there on halloween night i'm super excited so this is a perfect episode for you because you might learn some stuff I know. that you might need for the Halloween party. I know. Here's the trick is that there's so much to do. There's so yeah. much food. There's so, yeah. so much to do. It's hard. And I think personally, as an adult, I love to dress up and be a part of it like the kids are. Like, they don't stop you from going and getting candy, which we'll talk about candy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can just go. And like, you already are a kid quotations at Disney, you know what yeah. I mean? Like you're not growing up, you're having a blast, but on the Halloween party, it's like even better because you get to dress up and cosplay or whatever you want to do as whatever characters you want to be and it's just, I think, a whole nother level, you know? There are some restrictions, we'll get into that in a little bit. Yeah. But there are restrictions as far as adults dressing up. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that shortly. Yeah. So why don't we start with the, kind of the basics of a Halloween party, tickets, how it works, yeah. um, you know, the stuff you need to know, but not the exciting stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> all right, so tickets start at $74, which I think it's gone up slightly every yeah. year, because I think I remember paying like 64 at one point. Yeah, it was cheaper when we went. Oh, yeah. When we went, it was much cheaper. Um, so it starts at $74, um, but please note, as you get closer to Halloween, the ticket prices go up. Yeah, definitely. Um, because obviously, you know, it's around it's Halloween. Halloween. So, so I, well, are you going to explain the ticket system, how it works? Yeah. There's only a certain oh, amount yeah. of tickets per event. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just checking here because I was like, I want to know what it is, the price on Halloween. So if you're going on Halloween, the ticket price is $115. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was like, so it's, you know, it's pretty expensive. But now let's go into how the tickets work. Yeah. That is your admission to to the park so you don't have to have it a separate yes, admission ticket. right 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 huh? but so you go in yeah. you go in separately oh, the morning oh yeah. yeah you go in separately from the park yeah so if you just have a normal admission for that day and you don't have a not, not so scary ticket you have to leave the park like at seven, seven o'clock yeah they let you start filing in if you uh, if you're going to the party at four yeah. Um, but by 7, if you don't have a ticket, you need to be out. Yeah, and you'll see, like, the ushers will start waving. They'll check right. your wristband. Yeah, you're going to get you have. Yeah. Um, so at 7, they'll start shoveling out the people who don't have that wristband. Mm -hmm. But what you brought up is about coming in at 4 o'clock, right. and I yes. think a lot of people don't know that. So the park is open for the party from 4 p.m. to 12 p.m. That's right. 8 hours right. of Magic right. Kingdom. So yeah. that's why the not so uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Party is one, a lot of fun, but two, it could count as your Magic Kingdom day right, exactly. if you planned it right. right. And it's similar to the price of a Magic Kingdom ticket. Yeah. It's a Magic Kingdom ticket 120 at this point. Yeah. yeah. So it's similar. And you get the special amenity, am amenities. You get the party, you get the extra yeah. food, you get the trick And technically, you get the three extra hours of like not Halloween party in the beginning. Right. Yeah. And it's less people because they only sell up roughly about 20,000 tickets for, yeah. each for each night. Yeah. And not to say that the party's going to be full every night. Right. I've gone to parties that were empty, and I've gone to parties that were like max capacity. Yeah. Um, so it depends on what night you're going and how it rolls. But 
Um, the great part about it is that a lot of attractions, most of them, are still, still open. open. Right. First of all, you're in at the park at 4 to 7, that's normal park hours, and then starting at 7, normal attractions are still open mm -hmm. till midnight. So I'm going to go over a list here of what uh, Disney wants you to know what attractions are open. So we have an Adventureland, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Swiss Family Treehouse. Uh, Frontierland, you have Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Country Bear Jamboree. You have Haunted Man Mansion and Liberty Square. Fantasyland, you have Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Prince Charming Regal Carousel, It's a Small World, Peter Pan's Flight, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Mad Tea Party, uh, Under the Sea with Little Mermaid. Then you have in the storybook, you have Double the Flying Elephant, you have the uh, Barnstormer, and then in Tomorrowland, you have the Astro, a Astro Orbiter, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, Space Mountain, Tomorrowland Speedway, uh, the Transit uh, People Mover, and then Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. So, it's pretty much almost everything. Pretty much almost. The only one that wasn't on there was Jungle Cruise. Hey, the, and uh, the Tiki Room. Yeah, Tiki Room. Tiki Room's not open either, you know. Um, but all the great sort of rides that you want to go yeah. on right. are still open. Yeah. Before we move off of the rides, uh, kind of part of our video, at the Haunted Mansion, you're definitely want to going to go on during the Halloween party because they do have special events happening outside. So they have live uh, entertainment outside. So they have uh, what the like. Think of the street atmosphere in Hollywood Studios, but outside in the graveyard portion of the Haunted Mansion queue, interacting with guests and like singing and talking, and it's really fun. Yeah, and they have a special uh, oh, the no. cadaver dance, oh, barbershop yeah. quartet. Yes. Um, and then also the photo ops that you have yes. extra. Right. Um, so I know up outside of Haunted Mansion, they're going to have the carriage there yeah. that you can kind of get scared or whatever, they and, do that. And they also do the magic shot with the hitchhiking ghost. Yeah, the sure. hitchhiking ghost. They have uh, the Headless Horseman, I think is a new photo op this mm -hmm. year, and then J everybody always tries to find Jack the Skeleton. Yeah, Jack But Skeleton. in addition to those fun ones, I feel like, and I've again been multiple times, there's extra characters out. Like, I feel like I've seen more characters at a Halloween party than I no normally do during the the day at the parks. Yeah. Like there's they just make sure there's a lot of photo right. opportunities out yeah. there. Yeah. Um like sometimes I miss Jack Sparrow near Price Caribbean, okay. but the Halloween party, he's always right. there. He's always there, yeah. And I mean the most I feel like the most popular one is that the seven dwarves are out at the Halloween party. Oh yeah. Everyone wants to pick with the seven dwarves. And um, at the character meet and greet for Pooh and Tigger right next to the Winnie the Pooh ride. On this night and this night only there is Pooh, Tigger, Piglet and Eeyore in Halloween costumes. And you can go in and meet them. So it's not a full meet and greet. It's literally run in, single picture, and get out. So they're really filing people through. Yeah. So and what all this means is that while people are running around with the characters and trick-or-treating and watching the parades, it's more time for you to get on rides because lines are much, much shorter. Yeah. But like you might Seven miss stuff mine train. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which is really tough to get on still, even though it's been over for years. Yeah. This is your opportunity so you gotta to get like on there. prioritize what's important to you and your party. Right. Yeah. Because um, if you have small kids, you're probably going to want to do, and we'll transition to that right now, the trick-or-treating. Right. Yeah. So when you walk in for the Halloween party starting at 4, um, you'll get your bracelet, and they're going to give you a map and a bag. Um, so the bag is going to fill up quick because there's multiple areas for candy at the park. So I can't even go through it they don't care. They just pass it out. Take oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Can get you can keep getting it online. Right. Yeah. yeah. And now I said the Tiki Room is closed because I specifically remember one of the candy it's spots is at the, the Tiki room. room. You walk up, they give it to you, and it, all the lines move quick. So if you walk up to a candy line, I think you guys remember this. Yeah. Like, the lines are long, but don't fret because it moves fast because those cast members. Oh, my God, they have, like, three or four cast members just yeah, shoveling right. candy. Yeah. And take it, take it, take it. And listen. It's not the cheap candy. Oh, no, it's good candy. No, it's, it's name brand. good name yeah. brand candy. M&M's. Oh, yeah. Oh, all that all that stuff. Stuff. Yeah, delicious. And you, there's multiple spots in every land in the park. They'll give yes. you the map. And You'll you see it. giant pumpkins. Right. It'll be very cute. Yeah, light, lit up Mickey pumpkins. Yes. We'll let you know when you're near candy yeah. spots. Yeah. And Here's a tip. When you're leaving the park after the party, they're at the front gate passing out more candy. Yeah, they just take it. So be ready. Take it. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know how new this is. The um, So there's allergy candy stations now. So Oh, yeah. So when you go up to any of the trick-or-treat, um, you can always, as a cast member, for an allergy uh, friendly bag, which is teal, which is the color of allergy awareness. And whenever you go up to the trick or treat stands, uh, you can tell them that you are allergy sensitive, and they'll give you a little teal token. And at the end of the night, you take that up to. I'm pretty sure the um, 
to City Hall, yeah. and you trade it in for the um, allergy-friendly candy. Oh, so wow. So you just keep collecting the tokens, and then you can go get as much candy as you Perfect. want. Perfect. That's fairly new, because yeah. I don't remember that the last time we went. Mm. Yeah. Probably so if that's, like, a concern for your party, find a cast member, ask about the teal bags and the teal tokens. Yeah. And just enjoy the candy. Yes. yes. Speaking of candy and snacks and stuff like that, my favorite thing at the Halloween party, too, is for me, it's the perfect time to go get um, a waffle at Sleepy Hollow to watch the the parade. Just so you, if you love snacks or getting a candy apple yeah. or I mean, I could go on and on. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go on and on. There are so many fun snacks for the Halloween yeah. party, and a lot of them are new for this year. Mm -hmm. So uh, people are raving about the candy corn soft serve, Ooh. which if you don't like candy corn, it's not actually candy corn flavored. It's just vanilla, but it's uh, orange colored, orange half, half and half. half yeah. Half orange, half white. People are loving that. There's um, the pumpkin Mickey waffles, which you can get at the Plaza Inn and at Sleepy Hollow. You can get at four different locations. I'm pretty sure it's Aloha Isle, Storybook Treats, um, Sleepy Hollow, and, and Annie Gravity. Oh, no, sorry. So not Sleepy Hollow. Auntie Gravity's Ice Cream Parlor in Tomorrowland and at the Liberty Square Market. Yes. They're mm -hmm. doing four separate Haunted Mansion themed, like, not, not truffles. They're like... They're like little chocolate pastries, and they're long strips, and they have the stretching room artworks. Every location has a different one, right. so you can go collect them all. They have all the different artworks on them. It's amazing. Yeah. And they're all different flavors. So there's like a strawberry one, an Oreo peanut one, butter, chocolate. peanut butter, lemon. Here, here's a tip. Sleepy Hollow is the busiest snack stand yes. during this time. Yes. So try everything else. If you see a short line of Sleepy Hollow, I would attack it, but yeah. avoid it if you can. Yeah. So yeah. longest line during this time. At Gaston's Tavern, you can get a pumpkin. The waffles are delicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston's You're Tavern, right. you can get like a pumpkin cheesecake kind of covered chocolate mm -hmm. pumpkin. Amazing stuff. You got to try this. skeleton snacks. shaped um, like lollipops. Pops. Yeah, yeah. pops. It's amazing. And then, the confectionery always has the fun stuff. Yeah. They have the chocolate covered uh, Rice Krispie treats and candy, the, apple. candy apples and all that fun stuff. So try the food. It's all right, good. you sold me. The, 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 <laughs> this uh, episode's over. <laughs> the popcorn bucket this year is a Mickey Mouse jack o' lantern. lantern. Yeah, oh, so cute. if people collect it, collect it. It's about different. fourteen dollars if that's something that you do. Um, if you don't care about it, save your money. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. <sighs> I just gained 10 pounds in that conversation. Yeah, because what you're going to want to do <laughs> is get one of these snacks and then watch the three amazing shows that go on. Yeah, so let's start with the first one. We, this is a newer one. Yeah. It's the Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus Villain, villain Spectacular. That's a heart. That's a mouthful right there. The and, of course, Hocus Pocus, the Sanders and Sisters, a cult classic. Wow. If you do not watch that every Halloween, you are not my friend. There's some breaking news. They're remaking it. They are remaking Yes, for a Disney Channel. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so that's fun. That's right at the castle. Uh, check your it's time a for that. Show. Oh yeah, yeah, and just fun to have those characters from Hocus Pocus on yeah. the stage. And of course, they bring in some of our favorite villains yeah. to join them. Okie Boogie's in it. Maleficent. Um, Cruella. Cruella, yeah. yeah. Um, and if you've seen it in past years, they've updated the uh, light effects and pyrotechnics. Yeah. So, so make sure you see that. Yes. Now the next thing you want to check out, which I think the fireworks are. are awesome and the music's great for this yeah. is happy hollow wishes the firework show yes, I'm so excited. Ugh, and like the park goes dark yeah. and like the spooky boy oh by the way the halloween party the spooky voice announcer guy <laughs> i mean it adds to the party you can't have the party without the spooky voice guy so but he keeps letting you know when things are about to start when right, in right, right. just five minutes yes <laughs> He's awesome. I want to meet this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he'll let you know, count you down to when the parades and stuff are happening. But the fireworks show to me, I love oh, oh, when the lights go down, the music starts, and like my favorite part is the screaming at the end and the fireworks at the same time. It's like, wah, wah. Like, that's not the noise, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so I really, really, I like really love the fireworks. Uh, I, think, I think Hall of Wishes is my favorite like holiday themed fireworks spectacular. Yeah, I've only seen it once. I don't. Yeah. I vaguely remember it. But yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's all it's about the yeah. music. God, yeah. It's so good. And I think the music is why this next thing, or actually the main thing at the Halloween party, so makes it one of the best parades, in my opinion. Most that iconic. Disney does. Yeah. Oh, so that is the Boo to You Halloween parade. Boo to you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween. And this is not a joke, guys. The very first time I ever went to the Halloween uh, party, I sang that song probably for days and days and days <laughs> after. It was stuck in my head were you with, for days. Uh, were you with Brian then? I was, yeah. Oh, he was boy. the first person I went to the Halloween Actually, no. I'm sorry. My friend Andrea was the first person I went to the Halloween party with. Oh, sorry, Brian. <laughs> Brian's been twice. Uh, but, 
Yeah, she was the first person I went to the Halloween party with. And um, the, the, the music, that song is just awesome. <laughs> and there's a Halloween float, and the characters are out in Halloween costumes. Yeah. Um, my favorite characters in the parade, and you guys can say yours, but are uh, the grave diggers the that come with their shovels and sparks are flying, and it's just yeah. perfectly timed to the music. And you sit there, and they come up to you, up, and they're scraping the ground. And oh, the choreography, from like a dancer's perspective, perspective, is like oh, breathtaking. And they just scrape the ground, the sparks, and they're with the music, and they're just tapping and yelling yeah. at you, and it's so great. Yeah, I think it's hard to find something else that's better in that parade than those guys. Yeah. Um, and that's like, everyone will tell you the same thing. The moment yeah. you mention that parade, it's the first thing they talk yeah. about. The guys with the shovels. Yeah, oh. yeah. I like the Haunted Mansion dancers, too. Yeah, I love the, um, But they're definitely, like, the highlight. I mean, they're used in most of the promo photos. Yeah. I mean, right, right, right. it's, yeah, it's just... It's <sighs> Make sure you check out the parade. I mean, it, you have to. And again, the creepy Michael. voice guy will remind you of the <laughs> In just five minutes. Oh, he's the best. Especially when he's letting you know when the Headless Horseman's coming. Ugh! Oh. The Headless Horseman, we forgot no, about that. Oh, the Headless Horseman. Am I in love with the creepy voice guy? <laughs> this could be possible. Stay oh, tuned for man. more on that. <laughs> All right, so Lenny, talk about the Headless Horseman. We forgot the most important part, and then we'll go into costumes. The Headless Horseman. So there is a Headless Horseman, and he, he my way is uh, Fantasy Man announces and lets you know. <laughs> So he start, starts back, I want to say Adventureland or... Oh, uh, Frontierland. Frontierland. Yeah, Frontierland. Right here, big fun. And, he, and he rides through the... To, I believe to start off the parade, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, he leads the parade. Yeah. Um, and he rides through the park, and he goes right down to the entrance. He looks awesome. Yeah. He, he's just, it's just incredible. I mean, it's and a real just, horse. This, yeah. Oh, yeah. Disney Imagineering at its finest. You get a real horse with a guy riding it with no head. I mean, like, the most iconic thing is, like, the sound of the hoof. Yeah. Oh, it's, my it's gosh. Incredible. Yeah. Because there's no music, nothing. It's literally, you could hear him down yeah. Main Street. You right. hear it for about Main Street. Right. You like, hear oh it God. for, like, minutes before yeah. he comes up to you. Yeah, it's amazing. And again, he starts off the parade. The best parade. <laughs> so exciting. And my lover, the scary voice guy, will let you know when, when he's coming. Yeah. He's taking a weird turn. <laughs> the best part is Brian's right behind the camera. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's no longer watching. So let's get to the part that probably parents want to know about and how it works. But like, you know, coming dressed up for the occasion, like. Perfect. You know, so basically, if you're 13 and under. 14 under, 14 yeah, under. yeah, 14 under. Okay, so we'll say uh, you can really wear anything. Anything. There's no restrictions if you're 14 and under. Yeah. If you're an adult, you can't wear anything that covers your face. And you can't wear layers in case they have to pat you down. You can't conceal anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. When we went, I was Aladdin. I, remember. I was Tinkerbell. Right, yeah. and I didn't have a prom. Um, yeah. so it's easy. I mean, what adults gonna cover their face anyways? Yeah. Uh, to me, at that point, now you're strange. Yeah. You think we're strange for loving Disney yeah. so much and dressing up? If you're covering your face as an adult in yeah. Disney World, for all ages, there's like no fake weapons. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's for yeah. all ages, but like. That's kind you of can't have weird. anything offensive or yeah. anything like that, obviously. You know, the, the typical stuff like yeah. that works. The majority of people are going to come as a Disney character. It's yeah. Like, like, don't have any weapons. Don't have sharp objects on your costumes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go over what the website says for adults, just so we're specific, because kids, like we said, can pretty much wear everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But adults are a little specific, more specific. So, for adults uh, 14 and older, layer costumes or costume props that surround the entire body are strongly discouraged and may be subject to additional security screen, like Lenny said. Mm -hmm. um, costumes may not reach or drag on the ground. Yeah. Um, for example, a full-length princess dress. So, you want to get things hemmed and mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Uh, capes may be worn if the length does not go below the waist. So, have those short capes, superheroes, Okay. Uh, themed t-shirts, obviously blouses, of sweatshirts, hats are acceptable. So you can, you know, how people just simply wear a yeah. t-shirt or whatever with a character on it. You can, obviously that's fine. That's, that's a, fine. that's a, that's you, you wear practice. that to the park every day. Yeah, yeah that's what I wear. Practice. I know, you wear that to the park every day. Um, acceptable accessories include transparent wings, plastic lightsabers, toy swords, and tutus. Uh, headwear may be worn as long as it does not cover the face. Yeah. And then masks of any kind cannot be worn by adults. Yeah. When it comes to masks for the kids, I just read here, uh, costumes and some masks may be worn as long as the mask does not cover the entire face and eyes are visible. So for your kids uh, 14 and under, make sure the eyes can be seen yeah. and everything. Um, and then other than that, it's common sense. So they have rules, but it's manageable rules. Yeah. Okay, why are you wearing a mask? Yeah, why do you need to wear a mask? 
Yeah. And, but I like how they said, you can still bring in your lightsaber as well, except those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to market us, okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Did someone mention Star Wars Lip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I want to, like, I love seeing group costumes. Yeah. I love when, like, a family is, like, every character from a movie. Right, 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 right. Uh, I love that. I think the that's Incredibles, the, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, uh, the Incredibles, I love seeing, like, the Seven Dwarfs yeah. you usually yeah. see. Um, Alice and like all the characters, yeah. Matt Hatter and everything. Seen the Mary Poppins character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All the characters from Toy Story. People go all out, and it's amazing. I remember one Halloween party I went to. This is just a, a cute story. Um, that's when Wreck It Ralph was about to come out. It didn't even come out yet. It was about to come out, and there was a guy dressed as Felix, um, like the you know the hero. Yeah, and he had he had. Uh, a hammer that actually made noise, like a um, the sort of uh, what do they call it? Video game noises as he walked. Mm -hmm. So I every corner I took, he was there or walking <laughs> behind me. So all I heard was boing 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 boing, boing. <laughs> and I was like, what? where's Felix? And he's right near, like the whole party. But it was a cute That's costume. Yeah. The movie hadn't even come out yet, so I was like, oh my god, this guy's ahead of the curve. Yeah, true. Uh, it was just really really cute. I just bing boing boing. I was like, oh my gosh, Felix, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the costumes are so fun. So please be creative and yes. have fun with it. And safe, be safe. Angela, what are you going to dress as? Um, that's a good question. I'm kind of in between some ideas. Um, yeah, you guys will just have to wait and see. Yeah, I can't wait. I want to know. Uh, I, know. I, loved, I, I don't go full out when I go to Halloween parties because for me, I need access to the rides quick. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I feel it's an adult because I don't have kids. So I'm not watching little kids that I need. I'm going for the rides, so I don't want to have like tons of things yeah. on me. I'd rather just hop on. Right. So I try to like. Oh, agree. I'm more like Disney bound it, like have things that represent things. That, that's right. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all my ideas are gonna kind of go that like Disney bound. Uh, yeah. Route. Um, I personally, during the Halloween party, I try to avoid doing rides. I try to dedicate all of my time to doing like, the things of the Halloween party. I've done the rides. I know what they're like. I just, even if the weights are short, I yeah. try to really dedicate my time to doing that Halloween stuff. So what are you looking forward to this Halloween party you're going to? Well, this will be my first time seeing Hocus Pocus, and I'm super excited. But also, like, candy corn soft serve. I'm super excited. And, like, taking pictures in my costume, I'm super excited. <laughs> Basically, the entire party, Hollow Wishes, the Grave Diggers, I'm so excited. Yeah. Arr. I mean, the party has become one of the most popular yes. things there. That's why the price keeps going up. That's why the price keeps going up. You're, and you're always, uh, if you're on any uh, pages or on Facebook, whatever, yeah. people are always asking questions about it, going there. Um, it's just fun to dress up at at Disney, you know, be a part of the the thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, you feel like a cast. It, it just adds the extra magic. Um, so yeah, if you're going, we hope you have fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think one thing we didn't mention, which we're sorry, is this isn't seven days a week. Oh no, There's no, only no, special yeah. nights that they do it, so you have to look up the calendar. But to in October, out what... it's like every night. <laughs> It's pretty much like and November first. So yeah. it runs. It runs from late August until November first. So you got to find out which days they're actually doing it. Um, well worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. It's definitely worth your time. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, go to over to Epcot Food and Wine Festival. You yes, I, was I know they run consecutively. Right. I was just gonna mention that. So if anyone was wondering, uh, so I will fly down the morning on Halloween and spend my day, and then fly back the next morning on Wednesday because I have to go to my classes for the rest of the week at You're school. You're insane. Wait, okay, and, going. and then on um, Friday afternoon, after my last class in the afternoon, I'm flying back down uh, for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon weekend. Um, I'm not running, lol, that's funny. Uh, my mom and uh, one of my mom's very close friends and my friends is, um, they're running the 10 and 5k I'm pretty sure and then there's like a special wine and dine event and I will bring back all of my wine and dine information this will be my second festival last year was my first mm. so I will come back with a full report of my I think honestly my favorite Epcot festival I think I did like it more than Flower Garden is the food and wine because I met Remy and Emil from Ratatouille last year <laughs> so I will give you guys a full rundown on how that was mm. So that, those are my plans. And then I fly, so I'm there from Friday evening to Monday evening, because then I have to go to class again uh, the rest of the next week. Crazy. Lucky girl. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm not going back for a while, so you yeah. won't hear any stories from me for a little and bit. And possibly December for the two of us? Maybe. Our, fa um, our family, our other siblings are going in December, like their families. 
So we're trying to squeeze down there. We'll see how Angel's classes go and work and stuff like that. But I'm doing well. But yeah, the, the other half of the family, they'll all be there. You met them all there in the videos as a special yeah. guest yeah. spot. They're all going as, uh, as a group, so we're going to try to sneak up on them. Yeah. Yes. And I, the next time I'm going is I'm actually going on a Disney cruise in February. So uh, I'll talk about that. I mean, we haven't yes. talked about cruises too much, so no. yes, that'd be I fun to do an episode on cruising after I go on that. Yeah. So. All right, I think uh, this was a great episode. I hope you guys have fun if you're yes. going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween oh, Party. Show how it was. Um, and then in December we'll do an episode on the Christmas party because our family's going to yeah, it. Right. Probably um, even sooner. Probably do it November. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll have one of them as a special guest to kind of talk about their trip. Yeah, yeah we'll definitely. Get definitely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified on your mobile device every single time we upload. Yeah, and we'll have more episodes now that we're back. Now that we're swing. back. We're in the things. Full swing. Yeah. So uh, we'll have more episodes, and we're looking forward to giving you all of our Disney knowledge because we are Disney lovers right. and fans just like yes. you. Yes. So. Leave comments. Hit us up on yes. social media. Ask us questions on Twitter and Facebook. Our accounts are now active again. Yes. We can't wait to talk to you. I know. Island Earco. Buy some ears. Yes, and there's an Island Earco fundraiser next week. There is going to be a fundraiser <laughs> at all with Island Earco. So and follow our Facebook and Twitter. Yes, and we'll kind of let you know about that. It's yeah. going to be um, in collaboration with uh, Crohn's Disease yeah. and the Crohn's and Clays Foundation. So. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so check us out on social media. Give us a follow. Please subscribe. And we'll see you next time, probably on Main Street. With the Headless Horseman. <laughs> So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to all our videos for the latest updates on Next Stop Main Street. And make sure you check out all of our other Disney videos by clicking up here. Make sure you follow us on social media.